Presentations, whether they be in-person or virtual, is an easy way for you to engage with your prospects. Using presentations that contain more visuals will hold your audience's attention and can create a greater impact versus just using text-only slides. But sometimes putting together these kinds of presentations can be time-consuming. So how can you create presentations that are beautiful with engaging images capable of holding your audience's attention and won't result in you spending endless hours of your time creating? The best solution that I've recently discovered that helped me not only create truly beautiful and engaging presentations, but that also helped me create them quickly was beautiful.ai. So in this video, I'll share with you this platform, what it does, and how it can help you create presentations quickly, easily, and most importantly, stress-free. Welcome back everyone. So the first thing that you need to do is to create an account on Beautiful AI. There's two ways that you can do that. You can either use your existing Google account or you can input your email address and your password and create an account that way. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to go to login and log into my account. So let's go into design tips for beautiful slides so that I can walk you through what that sample presentation looks like. So the first slide that you're going to see is what your typical title presentation slides going to look like. This isn't the only design that you can use. You can actually come down here where it says slide layout and you can see that there are different ways that you can position your images. You can have the image be on the entire slide or you can just have it take up probably approximately one third of your screen. And then obviously you would just come in here and adjust the image so that it's more positioned so that you can see it. Or you can position this image on the opposite side by doing that. And again, you would come in and adjust it. Or perhaps you might want an image on the top or on the bottom. The choice is yours in terms of what you want that to look like. So again, what I love about Beautiful AI is that it does give you a number of choices, but it doesn't give you too many that you'll go crazy trying to figure out which one you want to do. So this is for your title uh, page. Now also on your title page, you might want to have your logo. So if you wanted to use your logo, you would have to come into your logo library where you would upload your company logo. And then I'll just use this one as a sample. And then it will insert it in there. You don't have to worry about sizing things. You don't have to do any of those types of things to try to make your logo fit. Um, for presenters, maybe you might want to have your name down in the corner. So it allows you to do that. And then if you need to have any kind of a footer where you want to put your copyright information or if you want to put your web address, whatever it is that you need to have in your footer, you have the ability to do that also on your title page. This one is showing you what graphics and text would look like. And again, you can just go to slide layout to make any uh, changes that you might want. Or if you want to add, say for example, there's four things that you wanted to do. You can easily add that. And what I love about um, Beautiful AI is that it stops you if you're trying to add too many images. So this instance, we have, I think probably eight is, oh, it's gonna give us more. Once we get to a point where we can't fit any more text onto or images onto a slide, it will tell us you can't do any more. And it does this so that you don't have your presentation or your slides looking too cluttered or too unprofessional. So it gives you guides and automatically will say, okay, stop, you can't go any further on this one. The other thing that's on here is that you can see this is almost like a bulleted um, presentation slide as well. But here you can click on that camera and it takes you to the icon library. They have three kinds of libraries. They have for images, they for icons, and then they have where you can store your logos. And so you can choose the icon that's most appropriate for whatever that slide happens to be. If you don't want to just keep scrolling through all of their library of icons, you can just type in the search bar what it is that you're looking for. So maybe it's a search. 
And then all of the ones that are closely resembling searches will come up and you can choose from there. Let me go into images really quickly so that you can see what kind of images they have. They have their images categorized here on this home page. But if you again just want to do it really quickly, you can type in here. I'll do YouTube and then search and then it will pull up all of the YouTube related type images. And all of these images that you can use are free. If you don't like any of them, feel free to come over here to the import image tab and you can certainly upload your own images. If you want to use an image that you've recently used for that presentation, you would just go to recently used and these are all of the images, whether they were uploaded or if they were found on beautiful AI that I used for my previous presentation. And then if you want to look for images specifically from past presentations, you can just click on the images from my presentations and then click on whichever um, presentation it is and then you'll get the images from there. So they make it really, really easy for you to be able to incorporate images into your presentations. So let's continue looking at some more of these slides. This is a real cool slide where it's an image and then there's a color overlay on this. So the way that you would do this is you would click on the camera, you would bring in the image, and then when you wanted to adjust, I'm going to click on this, you can adjust your image by selecting this palette icon here. And then you can choose what kind of filter you want to use. And then you use this little bar down here so that it can um, scroll. Now these colors, theme, accent, all of those colors are colors that you choose from your theme. So for example, if you have branding colors, you can go into uh, this icon. Let's close out of this. You can come over here so that you can edit your theme and you can choose your palette colors so that the accented colors that are used in your presentation match with your um, your brand and then you can choose what your primary colors will be for your text if you want to just use straight black or white or if you want to use some variation of that and then whatever the background colors are which is this you want to do light or dark or do, uh, defaults at light and then what kind of background style do you want do you want to have nothing on there do you want to have a vignette which i don't know if you could see it just sort of gave this sort of vignette hue over this. Do you want to do a gradient? Do you want to do a reversed gradient? And then do you want to do some sort of a border on your, um, and I don't know if you can tell, there's a gray border that goes around here. Whatever you choose, once you've um, edited your theme, you then want to apply the to the presentation, but you also might want to save this theme if you plan on using this for future uh, presentations that you'll have. So we're not going to do anything there. Now, the other thing that I wanted to quickly just talk to you about is if you needed to add a slide. So you would just click on the plus side sign and it gives you um, it comes to a page where it has all of their slides and they're broken down by most popular. What would be most obvious that you would use for a presentation structure, what your basics are and anything that's data or chart related. If you want to make some sort of an impact, if you want to use diagrams and timelines, if you want to do some sort of a comparison, if you want to use people like you want to do your about you or you want to feature someone. And then finally, um, for products or customers, you can use any of these. The other cool thing that you can do is if you know what the title or topic of your slide's going to be, Beautiful AI can sort of figure that out for you. So if I say that I want to use statistics, the second that I type in stat, it comes up with all of these types of presentation slides that I can use and I can just choose whichever one makes the most sense for what I want to create. You can also copy an existing slide if you want, and you can say add new slide and then type in your stats. And I can say I want this one in and boom, that slide comes in. You can then add stats. You can always add. And again, this is going to tell you when it's hit its maximum. So for this particular type of stat, you can't use more than three on this particular slide. So let's look and see what else that they have. So if you need to add 
new cells. You click add cell and then you add text. So let's add um, a new cell there. So we can have three images and this can be text or it can be an image. So obviously if it's an image, you just click on that. It takes you to your image page. And then you might want to go to search for stock images. Maybe you know that it's a business image. And then you can just scroll here until you see something that you think might be appropriate for what you want to use. And then you're able to insert that in there. So again, these are just some more uh, templates that they will offer in this particular sample presentation. Now, if you looked at this, and we're going to come over here to where it says organize so that you can kind of get a lay of the land and see how um, all of your slides look. Let's say you're brand spanking new, you come in and you just want to create a presentation really quickly and you kind of like the layout of these, maybe there's some that you need to add or delete. You can say, okay, this is the slide that I want to use or the slide presentation that I want to use, you can just literally go in here and swap out images, swap out text, and boom, you've started with your presentation. So it's really, really easy to create a professional and clean looking presentation. So I just wanted to come in and show you guys exactly what this is about, why I love this for creating my presentations. And the last thing that I'll talk to you about is, okay, this is great but I really need a PowerPoint presentation for the event that I'm going to go to. That's really simple and easy too. There is a cloud icon up here with an arrow that goes down like that and it says export. You can easily export your beautiful AI as either a PDF, a PowerPoint, or a JPEG. So if you do need it as PowerPoint slides, you just click on export to PowerPoint and you'll get PowerPoint slides. Now the only caveat on that is that they won't be editable when you get on to PowerPoint. If there's any sort of movement or animation that you have built into any slide, it's not going to transfer over to um, PowerPoint. But if you are going to be doing this presentation from your own computer, you can certainly download the app, which it does give you that capability as well. You can download their app onto your laptop and then be able to run your presentation from that app if you're not able to have Wi-Fi or a good strong internet connection in order to do this because you can edit and create your presentation wherever you have internet access. And right now this presentation, Beautiful AI, works from the Chrome extension. Hopefully they'll, they'll expand it um, beyond Chrome, but for right now it only works on the Chrome extension. So that actually is probably a downside for some people, but it doesn't bother me. Um, the other thing that I wanted to quickly show you is that you can run your beautiful AI presentation as a presentation in presentation mode, and you can do it from the beginning. So when you do that, it comes up and then you just click on your icon or your your you click so that you can change from one page to the next. Now all of these animations as you can see are coming in automatically. They're not set up to come in at each click but you can certainly do that. That's not a difficult thing for you to do. What you would need to do, I don't know if that has animation on it. Um, let me go to one that most likely does, like this one. You would come down here to your animation tab and you would remove it from play automatically to wait for click. So every time you click, then the next bullet point, and we can do this from this slide so that you can see what that looks like. So then when you want to talk about the next one, and then when you want to talk about the next one, all of these types of animations will not come over with your PowerPoint export if you go and do that. So anyway, that's it. There's a lot more that you can fool around with and tweak around with um, so that you can see exactly what it is that Beautiful AI can do for you. But that's Beautiful AI in a nutshell. And I just love it. I think that it's a really great uh, presentation platform for you to be able to use. So now let's talk about the pros and the cons. So for the pros, this platform is easy to use, and most importantly, it's free. At least it's free for now. I'm gonna try to go over to their um, main page so that we can see what their pricing is. 
So let's go to that. So for right now, you're getting 50 or more templates. You're getting customizable themes that you can do to your brand. There's a free image library that has hundreds of images in it for your use. There's a rich icon library that you can use, and there's a lot of icons to choose from. You have the ability to export to your PDF or PowerPoint. You can collaborate using this, which I didn't show you, but you can collaborate, and you can also do offline playback. And all of that right now is for zero dollars and zero cents. That's not to say that it's, it's not gonna change because it could potentially change and become a paid platform, but hopefully they will only have a tier for free. And then as you can see over here, they're planning on having a pro tier, which they're going to charge for. So hopefully what it'll just be, is just more stuff and not um, taking away anything from the free plat platform. So for right now, this sucker is free and it's easy to use. It allows you to create professional, clean, up to date, like today, 2019 looking PowerPoint presentations. I shouldn't say PowerPoint presentations, but presentations for your live events or for your virtual events. So I highly recommend checking this out, beautiful.ai, so that you can sign up and get an account right now. So now for the cons. For the cons, it's primarily that maybe you would like to have more templates they are adding some more there were some that were grayed out so here's one stack diagram another one is network diagram and then quotes and world map and i think that's it so that's about four that are going to be coming uh, soon so for those of you who want to have access to more templates that may be um, a con i don't really see it as one um, it only works from chrome for those of you who are Safari or um, Firefox users, that may be a con. And the biggest con for me is that the animation is not transferable over to PowerPoint or basically you can't edit when you export it over to PowerPoint. So that's the only, that's the biggest con if I had to say. But these are two completely different platforms that are owned by two completely different companies. So it would be a lot to expect for it to be editable, but who knows, maybe at some point in the future, PowerPoint might realize that it might work better if they just collaborate with beautiful.ai, who knows? So, um, but that's really the only con that I can think of. So I wanna hear what your thoughts are on this. I wanna hear if you've never heard of it, I wanna hear what you think about it. If you have used it or if you plan on using it, I would love to hear what your feedback is in terms of how easy it was for you to use it and what kind of presentations that you did. Okay, so as always, please subscribe to my channel. Please comment below on your thoughts about this video as well as other videos that you would like to see from my channel. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for review, tutorial, and opinion videos on video creation and video marketing tools, apps, and platforms.